other people and uh, greetings from Metro Washington Concord. Very cool. I love it. Very, very cool. Awesome. Well, let's get started. We've got a lot to cover in very little time to do that in. So here's what we're going to cover today. Today, uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name's Tyler Watson. I know I look like I'm 16 years old, but I'm actually in my 30s, and that's super fun. Some people say like, how did you get where you're at and you look so young? Well, my philosophy is that if you align and change your life, you can pack in like 40 years of experience in one year. So if you tallied it up, I'm actually like 40 times 30, that, that, that can be pretty old, right? So that, that's how you have to look at it is, is packing a lot of experience in a short amount of time. And that's what we're here today to do to help you find purpose in your life and turn that purpose into a way that you can monetize it. And a lot of people go on the journey of trying to find their purpose. But today I want to teach you that if you set out a goal to just find your purpose, you can go in circles, circles all day long, looking for purpose and never really finding it. So I'll tell you a little bit about my story of my search for purpose and how to try to monetize that purpose. And so uh, without further ado, let, let's dive in. Hi from Maine, sweet, welcome, welcome. Okay, I like to see your faces. It's very nice to see people's faces. So if you want to have it visible, that's awesome. Kathleen, Pamela, Peter. Uh, Desiree, Jess, awesome. Janine, very cool. Uh, Peter, hello everyone. Rochester, New York, love it. Well, super cool. I feel like I'm in like a live event and I should turn to somebody and give them a high five, but we don't have anybody in the room. So just give each other an I five, right? Just look at them and I five. Cool. All right, let's get this party started. A little bit about myself. My name is Tyler Watson, and my mission is to help entrepreneurs who are spiritually driven, who want to create an amazing family life, teach them how to create abundance in days instead of years. And we do that through many things, mainly through a system of aligning. And for those of you who have no idea what that is, we probably won't, we'll get into it a little bit today towards the end. It's a technique where you tap and breathe through the nose and smile, and it's really weird, but it works. <laughs> it's awesome. So uh, it's pretty cool. Today, we're going to cover a little bit about purpose and passion. How many in here want to feel like you have more of a purpose? By show of hand or by comment. Very cool. Yeah. And how many would love to have that purpose, be able to, to make money while living with purpose? Yay? Yeah? Cool. Sweet. And have you ever felt though where you're trying to find purpose and, and you, you get a glimpse of it? Maybe like you, you do one thing and it fulfills you and you're like, wow, I really feel that purpose. I really feel that deep connection only to have the next day happen to where it's like gone. <laughs> You're like, where did my purpose go? I don't really know. And you start second guessing, is this really what I'm supposed to do? Am I really on the right path? Is this really what I'm meant to do? Is God on board or is the universe really with me? Or does my family want this? And we, we have all these questions that start to counter our purpose and direction. So with this webinar today with this training, my goal is to share with you some stories. I'm going to also paint some pictures of, not, not really, I'm not a very good artist, but I'm going to hopefully paint a picture in your mind through visual aids that you can see that why we get stuck and how to get unstuck so that you can find your purpose, but not only find it, but choose to live on purpose, choose to live with purpose in everything that we do. And that is going to be the key. After that, I know some of you are looking to, some of you are really interested in getting certified in teaching the abundance alignment technique. Kind of a different topic, but not really. 
So at the end of this, we'll, we'll probably go 30 to 45 minutes teaching a lot about purpose and how to find it and really unlocking that, answer all your questions. Uh, we might go longer than that, depending on how I go. And then after that, I, I wanted to share with you the, an opportunity that a lot of people are having questions on about how do I get certified? How do I actually go get paid to live with purpose? So I'll share that with those of you who are interested at the end of this webinar. Cool? Does that sound good? All right. Cool. Let's dive in. So backstory. Six, seven, almost seven years ago, my old self was a massage therapist and I love doing massage. It was something I really was passionate about. I also apparently loved poverty because I was all about it and, and it was a really hard it was a struggle to get paid to do anything so i would grab my uh, i i got the degree and everything i went and i i did the massage therapy license i got the loan for it and did all this and co and i was going to college and did the the therapy massage therapy license during the summer like intensive and i just knew like hey i am good at it already so i might as well get paid for it so once I got certified, I thought, cool, now I'm a massage therapist. I could charge like $15 in an hour and that would be more than me flipping burgers. Woohoo! So I'd be like, that's better. Uh, my, my entrepreneurial mind was going. I was like, oh yes, if I only get paid, you know, $10 an hour on a job, if I got paid 15 or 30 in an hour, whoa, that would be amazing. So I literally started off charging like 15 to $30 per uh, hour massage. And I was good at it, but it was horrible. I would drive to their house, take my table, put it out and then work on them. And I'd give them more than they asked. So it's like, if they're like an hour, I'd make sure it was like everything was worked on them. And I was like really focused on over giving, over delivering. And oh my goodness. And then afterwards they'd pay me like, here's $30. and then I wouldn't have another client for like two, three, four days. And I'm like, well, even though I'm making 30 bucks in an hour, this sucks. <laughs> like I don't have enough to feed myself. So I realized, hmm, that philosophy, probably not the best. And I needed to change it. <laughs> so with that, I, man, I struggled. It, it seems funny now, but it sucked in the moment. And I know some of you are going through some struggles right now. And my goal is hopefully a year or two or even six months, you look back and you're like, wow, I've changed. Like that's actually funny instead of it feeling like so much pressure, right? So that's hopefully the goal is that a month, two months, six months, a year from today, you can look back on your struggle and realize, actually, that's just part of the journey. That's part of what helped you become who you are today. And because of it, you are a better person a person may able to serve and live with passion to help others. So back then I was addicted to poverty. I super struggled. I overworked and undervalued and undercharged and it was not fun. And I always had a lot of negativity inside and I didn't set many goals because if I set a goal, I wouldn't hit it anyway. So I was like, what's the point of setting a goal? All the goal represents is pain. All the goal represents is failure. So if I set an expectation, I'm not even going to make it anyway. So I'm just going to feel bad and then I'm going to veg out and feel worse. So my philosophy was don't set goals, happy life, <laughs> like no pain. So it also taught me not setting goals, got me nowhere. It got me very few things in life. So as I learned about my own struggles and learned that I didn't have to be stuck in those situations, that I could change it, I started to want to change. There was a, a burning desire in me at times. At other times, I think it snuffed out when I was vegging on Netflix and uh, eating Domino's pizza and stuffing myself and not working out and stuff. But the other times when I woke up and had consciousness, I was like, huh, maybe I should change my life. Maybe I should like do something to 
to actually feel fulfilled. Maybe I should find a purpose. And as I looked back on my life, there was a time in my life I did have some purpose. I, I left on a church mission for two years and I felt so purpose driven. I was like, purpose, go help people. That was my purpose. But then I came back and everything collapsed and then I undercharged and had all the negative stuff in my head. And then I felt like purposeless. So we all have those glimpses of purpose, glimpses of passion, glimpses of, of productivity. But the key is not just to glimpse it, but to choose it daily, to choose it consistently, to choose it in no matter what we do, which that can be difficult at times. I get it. But it still is a choice. We can make that choice. I'm going to teach you today how you can make that choice easier, easier, easierly, whatever that, that uh, word is, so that no matter what you're doing, you can get the results you want in a fraction of the time. Sound good? Yeah? Okay. So turn to the person next to you, give them a, a virtual high five. <laughs> All right, that's, that's what we're going to do. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, hey, I actually saw Pam and Peter just like class. That was awesome. That was really cool. Cool. So passion, purpose, what does it mean? Let's define it. When you think of purpose, what does that mean? Let's, and you can unmute yourself if you'd like, or just type in the message. What purpose? What is purpose? Let's define that. Destination. Destination. Okay. Peter says feeling. Good. What else? When you say, when you think purpose, what definition does that mean? Sense of fulfillment. Okay. So we've got sense of fulfillment. We've got like a destination. We've got sense of fulfillment. Oh, by the way, if I spell stuff a hundred different ways, just remember creative. That's what it is. <laughs> Thank my uh, English teacher. She loved me going through this stuff. So it's creative. Reason for being and thriving. Mission, vision, and life. Passion equals feeling. Good. So you got feeling. You got a mission. Okay, good. What else? When you think of purpose, what comes to your mind? Meaning. Good. Okay, so we have this idea of what purpose is, right? Many of us think that it is something to be attained. It's a destination. Like, oh, I have a purpose and I'm going there. Other people feel like we're looking for it. It's something to be found. Now, here's the thing with purpose. Purpose is like any form of emotion. Many of us think that happiness is to be searched for, to go and like people teach it, like the search for happiness. We're looking for happiness, right? It's a destination. And one day we'll arrive at the rock and say, oh, I found happiness. Like I found it. It's right here. Oh, it's, it's this. This is happiness. I got it. I got it. And then we lose it. And we're like, oh no, where to go? And we're looking for it. We're like, it's something that can be attained and lost, right? So we think that it is something that's attainable, but we're actually quite wrong when we think that. And here's why. If I think that purpose is something to be attained or arrived at, guess what? When I get there, am I going to stay there forever? Is like, do we stay in a place all the time? No. Like when you wake up tomorrow, you're a different person. Your cells are reproducing every day. They're changing. You're a new person every second. So if we find something that we might think is purposeful or purpose, and we're like, I have it, things change. And then we might feel like we've lost it. And then we regret. We feel like we're not good enough anymore. We feel like we're too old, too young to actually live with purpose. So I had fallen into the same trap as well. Back when I started and I was looking for my purpose and I thought I saw all these other people living on purpose. They were just passionate. They were purposeful. They were crazy. And they were like, let's go change lives and doing all this stuff. And I was like, man, you're just weird. Like you're just like odd. 
And here I am, like just in my own little bubble, judging them and wondering deep down inside, I actually wish that I had that naturally and just let that be part of me. And with that, I ended up getting married and started to work on myself. And my wife had a dream. She had a, 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 a goal she wanted. And for those of you who don't know my wife, she's a concert pianist. So she studied piano and she she took tons of courses and studied like sometimes practice like 14 hours a day, like crazy, like loved piano. I think about practicing piano and it like is not that for me. So I, I was, I was the one, my mom paid for me to get lessons and I'd, I'd like play twinkle, twinkle, little star chopsticks. And then I was like, I hate piano. Cause I have to sit still and it drives me nuts. So I, it wasn't the best experience for me, but my wife, she loves piano and I love listening to piano. So when we got married, she said, Hey, I would really love to have a, a grand piano. And I was like, those things are not cheap. <laughs> those things cost some money. So if you've ever looked up a, a piano, it can be like a house or a car, right? Those things are, are pretty awesome. And I thought, well, give me five years. Like, give me five years at least to like save up and hopefully one day get you a piano. But the other part of me was like, no, I want to get it in the next year. Like, that would be so amazing as a husband just to have my wife get her dream that has been a lifelong dream so she could play and just come alive. And if you've ever listened to a concert pianist play on a piano that's not the best, it's like... Oh, it just hurts. It's like, oh, they need the best instrument. They need it to, to really be just shine and let it out there, right? So my goal became, because I, I didn't set goals for me at the time. Remember, I didn't feel valued. I struggled growing up. I, I, for those of you who don't know my backstory, parents got a divorce. I struggled through pornography, uh, suicidal thoughts, video game addictions, and that all created a lot of the lack of passion, the lack of, of momentum, the lack of, of, of purpose. So with that lack of purpose, I was afraid to set goals because I just knew that I couldn't get them anyway. And yet I started to focus on something that I wanted, which was what? Get my wife a grand piano. So I didn't have a goal for myself. I was like, I could care less about money. I don't, I can live on nothing. And yet I wanted to get her something. So at first I didn't have a purpose. At first I needed to find someone to have a purpose in. So I'm going to share that a couple more times so that it can sink in. At first, when I was in such a state that was so negative, that was just not feeling empowered, I had to find someone to have a purpose in. That person for me was my wife. And I was so afraid that of setting anything for me because of my past, but I wanted to get her a piano. So what did I do? I focused on it. I put it on my wall and I thought about it and I struggled trying to make it and it was tough. It was hard, but during the hard times and when I got conscious again, I was like, actually, what am I focused on? Oh yeah, I wanna get my wife that grand piano. So I kept working on myself. I kept investing. I kept doing a lot of things in to grow me. I bought programs to learn how to speak with other people's money. I borrowed a lot and I tried and I was like, I just need to find a purpose, need to find a passion, but I don't have it. So I'm just going to try to go get my wife's goal with some purpose and some passion. And as I started to do that, there was some lessons I learned. Number one was I didn't have to find a passion. As I just had to decide to be passionate about something. I didn't have to find a purpose. I just needed to decide to live on purpose and with purpose. This was huge. 
Because so often every morning I was just looking and I was even asking God, like, what's my purpose? 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 And all the while, while I was so selfishly looking for my purpose, I was missing out every day on living purposefully. So when I was with my spouse, I was thinking about what I should be doing, what I could be doing, or the, the things that I wasn't currently doing that I wanted to do, but I didn't feel capable of. I was so focused on all the things I couldn't do that I didn't focus on what I could do. And I didn't focus on the purpose that I could decide. To decide means to sever off. To decide means to cut off other options. So in my mind and heart, I was so afraid. I had all this negativity that I let that dictate my choices. But as I decided, cut off those options, and you might be like, how do you do that? Well, there's some tools and techniques and stuff, but ultimately those tools and techniques get you to decide, make a decision, okay? So I made a decision that I was actually just going to wake up and live purposefully and see how life went. So I woke up, went to the bathroom with purpose, literally like every little thing. And I was like, I'm purposefully going to the bathroom. And as weird as it might sound, this is what I did. And I was doing the dishes and I was like, I am purposefully doing these dishes with purpose. And I had started to think things as everything I did had meaning behind it and purpose behind it. When I was with my spouse and when we had our first child, when I'm holding her, I'm not trying to think of other things that I live with purpose, meaning me being there in the moment is part of the purpose. And how I show up, could I be just as excited doing the dishes as teaching hundreds of people? Could I be just as excited as holding my little daughter as going and enrolling a $60,000 client? Could I be just as excited in finding a sense of fulfillment, the feeling and the mission? Could I actually create these things without the external circumstances? This was huge for me because I was so looking for this thing, this outside thing that said, maybe once I find it, then I will know what to teach. Then I will know who to be. Then I will know what I can passionately live. Then I will know once I get to that thing. But I didn't even know what that thing was. So literally you could be walking around and that thing could be all around you, but we'd miss out because we're constantly looking outside of us. So the moment I turned tuned in and said, actually, what if I decided today, decided, cut off the idea that purpose is out there, that I have to find it. What if I just cut that idea off and said, what if I just chose every single thing I do, I do it with purpose. I do it passionately and I'm present and in the moment. When I started to live with purpose on purpose, guess what happened? My purposes started to become very clear. And I started to realize maybe there are some things that I need to do on this planet. Maybe there are some things because now I'm actually driven and ready to receive those things. But if we're constantly looking for it, we'll never be ready to find it until we decide and take on that decision to say, I am ready. This is who I am. I live with purpose and on purpose. Everybody take a breath in. <sighs> it's okay. We can all live on purpose, right? So just tell yourself, I can choose to live on purpose. I can choose to live on purpose. I can choose to live with purpose. I can choose to live on purpose. I can choose to live with purpose. Yes. Okay. What are your questions so far? This making sense so far? Yay or nay, maybe. Yeah, it's like, uh, I don't know, Tyler. This is a really hard pill to swallow. I'm going to go like turn this off and go find something else that might give me purpose. 
Or is it something that's like permeating, maybe giving you some ideas, maybe stirring something in your mind and in your heart, maybe getting you to think differently, getting you to be and act differently, right? Let's hear a couple feedbacks. I want to hear some voices. I, 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 I like to hear what people say. Peter says, my mom played the piano beautifully. Clarity is power. I love what you do. I oh, love it. Let's hear it. What do you guys got? What are you learning from this? What's your takeaway? This, uh, Tyler, hi, how are you? Hello, everyone. My name's Peter I'm from Rochester, New York, as I put it in the chat. Uh, this really resonates with me because I'm a passion test facilitator trained under Janet Bratwood. And what I do is a presentation that helps people define through being known what they're passionate about, what their life purpose is. So having clarity and being able to list down what you're actually passionate about. And then what do you do when you have your list? And that's what I take people through. So what you're talking about tonight really resonates with me. Very cool. I love it. Virtual round of applause for Peter. Thanks for sharing. And the cool thing about that is you might think that are there things that, yes, make us come more alive? Absolutely. Are there gifts that we can unlock that might give us a sense of purpose? Yes. But if we solely rely on those things to give us the purpose, many times we don't live those gifts because part of us doesn't even feel worthy of being in a place of having passion. So what do we do? We avoid doing the thing that actually fulfills us. This is why it's so important to choose to live daily with purpose, on purpose. Because if you're cutting hair or you're doing a menial job that you don't like or you're just doing a job, yet you're doing it with purpose and you're doing it the best you can and you show up and you're like pumped and you like are present and you're listening to people and you're interacting and you're really making connections. What happens is that type of presence and passion can only exist in that sphere for so long. Mm -hmm. As you continue to change and grow new opportunities, people will see it and they'll say, wow, like you're showing up even in the most unpassionate circumstances, how are you doing that? This is weird. Most people let their circumstances define them. Mm -hmm. You're choosing to do something different. And that difference allows you to unlock your gifts, allows you to step in with passion in anything you choose. And guess what? When you do that, you start to unravel the gifts inside. You start to embrace it and say, I'm ready for more. Let's take it to the next level. And then, yes, other things are put in your place to say, wow, I'm really passionate about doing this and this and this. And maybe I don't like to do the dishes as much, but hey, when I'm going to do it, if I need to do it, I'm going to be passionate about it. Okay. So I try to make, like, I actually love vacuuming the carpet. It's like something I really love. Like, I just <laughs> like love it. My wife's like, you vacuum the carpet. And I'm like, okay, and I just love it because it like gives me that sense of, and, and I visualize things when I'm cleaning. You can link anything to any type of job. So if you're doing something you don't like, you can see yourself doing it and the change inside of you because of how present you are. That becomes amazing. You could sit in a prison wall for 10 years and still have passion. You could still feel passionate. You could still have joy behind prison bars for 10 years. Now, do you have to put more energy in to do that? Maybe that circumstance might make it a little harder. Yes. Maybe if you have opposition or people fighting you all the time, does it make it a little bit more difficult? Possibly. Mm -hmm. But whose choice is it still? Ours. I think of story of uh, Immaculate Ilbegiza or Ilbegiza. Anybody ever heard her story left to tell? So she it was in Rwanda and during the, the, the genocide, right? So you have the Hutus and the Tutsis, these two tribes. And this was literally not too long ago. This was like when I was born uh, in the eighties. And she was from a certain tribe and what happened is they went on this huge rampage where one tribe just kills all the other tribe. 
And she has to live in a bathroom with several other women and has to be super quiet for a long time. And the whole time she's in there, she's suffering. She's wondering about whether her family is dead or alive. She even hears them calling her name. Immaculate, we're going to find you and kill you and gut you and string you up and all these negative, horrible things just all day, all night, fear. They can't even sleep in a spot and they have to not breathe and move. It's such a horrible environment. And she says in her book that she literally felt like she was fighting hell. And it was internally, it was in her mind, in her heart, because she heard all these voices and she was a godly person. So she was praying and praying and praying. And there was a point in her life in the bathroom where she stopped listening to all of the opposition and started tuning into her purpose, her passion inside of her. And she had a vision about how she was supposed to learn English and she was going to teach and she was going to empower people in a, a place where she was tortured and going to die. She found that passion. And so she asked the preacher who was housing them uh, illegally and for uh, scriptures in English and a dictionary in English. And she started to read and started to learn English while she was imprisoned, basically in this torture. And eventually she got out. She walked amongst her killers and they, they, she knew because of her vision and her passion where other people were so afraid. And they said, don't, don't go out there. You're going to get slaughtered. Literally, they'd take machetes and just chop people up. It was horrible. But because of her vision and her passion and her purpose, that was a decision. It wasn't a destination. It wasn't something she was looking for outside of her. It was something she had to find inside of herself. And when she found that, because she looked for it and she wanted it, she talks about an experience where they were on all sides of her taunting her with the machetes and she held her head high and walked through her enemies and they couldn't touch her. And she walked past, and man, that's a, it's one of the most powerful stories. And she walked past because she knew she had a purpose and she wasn't going to die. And she got to the other side and found a job that she needed to know English in. And she became a speaker, wrote a book, enlightened so many people, has helped millions and millions of people all over the planet. So her name, Amakali, Ilabagiza or Ilabagiza, however, it's a, a so, and the book is left to tell, left to tell. It's a hard read, but it's one of the most spiritual books you'll ever read. Um, also, about that, she also, the, the person who slaughtered, because her whole family got killed, they, they all got murdered. She knew, and it was one of her friends, dad's friend, who killed all of them. And he was imprisoned, and the jailer told Immaculate she could go see him, and they gave her permission to do whatever she wanted to him. So she goes into the prison to look in the face of her family's murderers and she forgave him. And the jailer got ticked. He's like mad at her, but she looked into the eyes of the person who murdered her family and forgave. And I think about that and I say, what kind of purpose what kind of passion can someone have? What, what kind of, that is not some external purpose she had. That was an internal decision to live passionately, fiercely, to live for something. And at that time, it was just to stay alive, to learn English, to live for the future generations, to tell her story. Each and every one of you have a story. Each and every one of you have something you have gone through from your past and you have a purpose, you have a passion, you can find that if you seek it, 
if you want to find it. But we all have to go on our journeys to find it. We have to be willing to do what it takes. And sometimes that willingness means we got to confront the inner demons. We got to be okay going through hell and back, but not staying there, partying in there, being like, oh, yay, having a pity party, right? No, but we go through it, experience it, and then move forward. Get out of there and let's transform. Let's change. Let's do something better on the planet because now we live with purpose and passion. Yes? Yes. Cool. So based on what you are doing in your life, what can you do today to make a decision to live purposefully? What can you do right now in this moment? Every one of us has a decision to make every day. Can you make that decision and say, yes, I am going to live on purpose. I'm going to live with passion. And regardless of my situation, regardless of the amount of money in my bank account, regardless of my health, regardless of my relationships, can I live and choose to be passionate and live purposefully? That is a decision every single one of us must must make. Or not, you can choose not to. And keep doing it. Keep trying to find the passion somewhere out there. Trying to find the purpose, right? So purpose, it's not a destination. It's a decision, okay? Purpose is not a destination. It's a decision. It's a decision. It's a choice. And we all have that choice. And when we decide, then the destinations become purposeful and it becomes exciting and transformational. Cool? All right, turn to the person next to you. Give them a high five or a high five either way. (laughs) Awesome. I really miss live events. So, all right, cool. Questions, comments. Let's open this up. I want to hear some some comments. What are you getting out of this? What are you going to do differently? How are you going to find your purpose? Well, for me, um, I can't tell you the first time I heard about finding your purpose, which was probably 10 years ago, uh, that's all I've ever heard it to be is like this destination. And when I find it, it's going to feel like so you know and this gives so much more freedom to know that it's an emotion like happiness that that just really that i'm i i have to kind of percolate in that for a bit boom i love it thanks pamela give her a big round of applause thanks for sharing cool who else let's get two more shares what are you getting out of this what are you going to do differently Martha says, I like the idea that it's just a decision. Awesome. Who else? Let's get a couple more shares. You can unmute yourself. Go ahead. We got Bro Young. Oh, hi. I'm actually Mrs. Young. Hey, Mrs. Young. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so. Um, well, I'm, I'm enjoying the, the webinar. It's it's really, it's kind of on time for me. I work for an agency that is, it's a wonderful agency, but you you can sometimes be in the room and not be heard. So for me, I love the room. So I need to create a room of my own. Wow. And literally coming through the process, of being, having so much experience in what I do to go into a room and not have my skills be used to their fullest potential makes me feel A, not validated. Um, like it makes me feel like it's an inclusive group that I don't belong to. Although I'm extremely passionate about what I do and they hired me because of my experience. So now your webinar is on point. I need to create a room of my own and I need to do it quickly. I stop messing around because that's the only way I'm gonna be happy. Boom, mic drop. I love it. 
Thank you for sharing. Virtual round of applause. Very cool, very cool. Mary says, I'm still trying to wrap around the notion that your destiny is a decision. How do I grasp that better? Okay, destiny. What does destiny mean? Let's define that real quick because a lot of us get caught up in our destiny versus purpose versus passion, right? What is destiny? Let's define that. What does destiny mean? Here it says, choices, I'm a deliberate creator. Good, what else? Destiny. People, Tyler, people think we co-create and that's kind of like, if you want to go biblical, whatever, the universe, whatever you want to call it. But when you're on purpose and you're passionate about what you're doing, you can literally co-create and get what you have on your mind as long as you overcome your limiting beliefs and you can have your conscious and your subconscious in alignment with each other. You can get what you want out of life. Beautiful. Especially yeah. when you're passionate. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So being able to create what you want out of life. Martha says something you're here on this earth to do. Good. So destiny is interesting. Some of us think or feel that we have this destiny that we're like looking to attain. And we go our whole life looking for that thing of hopefully I will get to my destiny or my destination so that finally I'll know that I have arrived. And the problem with focusing on the destiny is if we just focused on the destiny or the destination, then we lose sight of the journey to get to the destiny or destination. And in fact, the more we focus on the journey by having an idea of what we want, having goals or ex things that we want to attain or become or do or have, then our destiny starts to unfold. It's very hard to get somewhere when we're not actually moving. So how can I go attain my destiny if I'm not living on purpose or with purpose or with passion? That's like saying, hey, I've got my car. I've got my car. I've got my car. I have a destination, but you know what? I'm looking for, I'm looking for the, the, so the car being us, like we're, Hey, we're, uh, this is me. I got to go to this ideal place. Right. And the engines turned off because we're waiting for passion and purpose. And we say, okay, once passion and purpose arrives, then I'll be able to get to where I'm going and get to that destiny. So we sit around in the car pushing on the pedal, pushing on the brake, trying to turn the wheel, nothing's working. And we're like, whew, man, I'm looking for my destination, my destiny. I hope one day I'll find my passion and purpose so then I can get there faster. Yet, what if we decided, hey, what if my destiny and uh, passion just represents me turning on the engine and pushing the gas pedal, putting it in gear, going, moving forward. But Tyler, where am I going? Go, move, decide, just go. Because as you're moving forward, then you can change directions. How easy is it to change the direction of a parked car? Anybody know? You ever tried to turn a parked car? How well does that work? It doesn't. In fact, it's really hard to turn the wheel. But what if you're moving? Guess what? The faster you go, the easier it is to change directions. The more passionate and purposeful you live, the easier you will be directed to get to your destiny or destination. You following this? Yeah, the wheel locks. <laughs> so true, right? Okay. So where are you going? That's a good question. We do need to decide some direction. We do need to decide what we're going toward. For me, back in the day, it was... I want to get my wife a grand piano. That was my destination. That was my destiny. Guess what? Once I did it, guess what happened? I actually became very unmotivated. I didn't have a purpose anymore. And my results dropped right after I got it. Because now I didn't have a purpose anymore. And I was like, oh my goodness. I was so focused on the thing. Once I got it, I didn't even think of anything else after so then I had to actually like, create a bigger vision, a bigger destiny of what else do I want? 
What else do I want to create? Who else do I want to impact? How much more change do I want to see and experience? And it's a constant journey of transformation, of growth, of passion, of purpose. Looking in the mirror and taking self-love locks a lot. Unlocks a lot. Yeah. Okay. So how many in here are going to try a little harder to decide to live on purpose? Yeah? How many are going to decide to live not just on purpose, but to live with passion in what you do? Let's say you got to get the kids up in the morning. Let's say you got to make breakfast. Let's say you got to go and maybe you're doing your job. Maybe you're speaking. Maybe you're doing whatever it is. But can you live purposefully and passionately in all the things that you're doing? Or do you compartmentalize? Oh, well, I only have to show up when I'm at work. Whew, now I'm at home. Now they don't need me to be present or passionate. Now I can lower my, my guard. Whew, now they get to see all my crap. All right. No, no. They need the best, right? They need the best of us. So after we work, sometimes, yes, we're tired. But guess what? If we continue to decide to live on purpose and with purpose and passion, we get more energy. We have more energy. Things start to change. We get the tools, the techniques, whatever it is we need in order to succeed and go where we need to go. Can't have bad health purposely poop. Love it. Yeah. No, seriously. When I use the restroom, it's on purpose and I'm letting go of negativity every time I go. When I'm drinking water, I drink it purposefully. When I eat food, we need to do things on purpose. And as you do, it makes everything have a purpose. Yeah, it's super cool. You can do, you can make everything have a purpose. Even the most simple things. Good? Okay, pat yourself on the back and say, I live on purpose. Good, pat yourself on the other side of the back and say, I live passionately. And just put your hand over your heart and say, it is my choice and my decision. And I can decide. Very cool. I love it. Virtual round of applause, everybody on here. Thank you guys so much. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation. I hope you live more purposely and more passionately. Now, switching gears, for those of you who are interested, I would love to share a little opportunity about something completely, well, not completely different because it's about passion, purpose, but monetizing that passion and purpose, okay? So if you're interested, you can stay on. If not, you can hop off. I'll talk for about 10, 15 more minutes and teach you some things about passionately and purposefully creating wealth through living purposefully and passionately, okay? And the main methodology is through the abundance alignment technique, a technique I developed. And I'm looking for passionate, purposeful people who are wanting to go make an income by sharing information and teaching. So if you're interested in this, just raise your hand. Let me know if you would like for me to go over the details and talk about how you could monetize your passion and purpose. Yeah, cool. We've got at least two, so I'm, I'm sticking around. All right, cool. All right, monetizing a passion and purpose. Here's a couple ways to do it. Number one, with what I do, it's all about being the person you wanna be. We are the walking billboards for our messages. So whether you do the certification or not, no matter what you choose, what path you choose, you are the walking billboard. How you show up dictates what people do. So if I show up drained and I'm like, oh man, I've had a horrible day and I feel horrible and I go into my story of my pity stories and like someone saved me and I don't show up, then what message am I sharing with the world? I'm sharing that I'm stuck, I'm enslaved, I can't change anything. So if you have a message that's about freedom, health, physical, changes relationships you need to live it now do you have to be perfect at it no but you at least need to try to live it right because when you do you feel in integrity with it you feel like there's nothing worse than feeling like a hypocrite 
where you're teaching one thing and then going and doing the opposite. It's like, hey, go have a great relationship with your spouse. And then you go like, I hate my spouse, ah! right? No, we wanna live in integrity with the messages that we share. Does it mean you have to be perfect? No, you just need to be one, two, three steps ahead of somebody else and be able to shine light so that they can see and get out of the dark. That's it. If you can do that, and anybody can, then you can monetize a message. You can get paid to go teach, to go help, to go serve. Got it? So do you have to be perfect? No. Yeah. Does it help to be one or two or three steps ahead? Yes. Okay, that's all you need. And if you're alive today, you probably are a couple steps ahead of someone else on the planet. There's like billions of people. So you're probably gone through some lessons in life that you look back and say, hey, I've learned that lesson. Don't step there. That is a bad thing to do. That is going to cause pain. You are going to get hurt doing that. It's not fun. Trust me, I've done it a lot. And they're like, oh, thank you for sharing that wisdom with me. Here's some money because you just saved me a lot of trouble. Okay, so that's all coaching is, is being a couple steps ahead and you don't have to be perfect. Got it? So just say to yourself, I don't have to be perfect to make a lot of money teaching people. I just have to be a couple steps ahead. That's it. You, you don't even have to say that. That was a lot of stuff, but you can say it if you remember it. <laughs> all right. So how do you monetize a message? Be the walking billboard. That's number one. Number two is as you're being the walking billboard, you want to have structure, some sort of structure for people to follow. So with the abundance alignment technique, it's a structured process. I am not tied to the process. Don't become a victim in that world. A lot of people get so tied to the process that they become addicted to the processes. They're like, I need the process or the tool or the herb or the, the thing to give me X, Y, Z. And we get so fixated on the tool, which is just a tool. That's all it is. Now, are some tools more effective than others? Yes. But do we need to be tied to the tool? I don't think so. The more tied you are to it, the less money you'll make. So if you're super tied to a tool and a process, if something better comes out, guess what? Where does all of your confidence go? Out with it. And you're like, oh man, my value's tied to that tool and now it's outdated. Maybe it's not good enough anymore. Like I was, I, I used to teach uh, EFT, like tapping. And I was in a room and there was like two or 300 people in the room. And I thought I was cool because I knew the technique. Little did I know that a lot of people knew the technique, especially in the room. And I thought my value was tied to the process and the technique, the tool. So I thought, oh, I'm here in this room, like I'm gonna go connect and maybe like make some sales and like make some connections and serve people because I know tapping and EFT and all this cool stuff. I was like, sweet, I'm gonna change lives. And the presenter's like, how many of you know tapping? And like everybody's hand went up. And I was like, my confidence dropped to the level that their hand went up. And I was like, Phew. it's like, oh man, maybe I don't have any value because I thought my value was tied to the process or the technique. I didn't realize that actually what was valuable was my story, how I implemented the technique. Because as I got to talking to people who had knew the technique, some of them for 20 years, way more than I had. And I talked to them and I was like, yeah, I know this technique and I do it. And I actually make money and doing it and I'm helping people. And they're like, I'm still broke. And then the, the light went on. I was like, wait, 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 wait. You know how to do EFT and you're broke? Maybe we're talking about the different thing because how I apply it, if you apply it that way, you won't be broke. So the light bulb turned on and I said, it's not the technique, it's the application. It's the transformation. And how does that happen is through the person with the tool, you. So you apply the tools and techniques differently than anyone else. 
And that is what is valuable. It's not the technique or process itself. Got it? So yes, I am going to share with you a little technique and like how you can monetize this technique. But realize if you do want to go on this journey with me, it's not about the process of the technique as much as it is about you. Make sense? Cool. Now, this tool and technique is awesome. And I think it's one of the world's best. But it's still, don't be attached to it, right? Cool. All right. So can I share with you some of the, the specific details of what going on the certification journey would look like? Is it okay if I share my screen and kind of go over like the weeks and what it would look like and how much money you could make and how you could apply it, et cetera, et cetera? Is that cool? Yes, please. Okay. So I'm going to share my screen and then I'm going to give you a link if you want to read it, if you're one of those reader people. All right. I'm not a reader people, so I just like to listen, but I know a lot of you are reader peoples. So I'll, I'll give you the link so you can look at it. So let's share my screen and see about it. So here, this is, can you guys see this? You see it okay? It says abundance alignment technique. Yeah? Yeah? Okay, cool. All right, so here is the page to describe it all. Here's me doing another video, uh, kind of like what I was talking a little bit about today, but a little differently. We have two options. One is if you've learned the full technique already. One is if you haven't learned the full technique already. So if you've already paid to learn the full technique, which was anywhere from $500 up to like 3,500 or more, then I already purchased the full technique. Got it? If you haven't bought a program from me that teaches the full technique, which is probably over $500, then you will click, I haven't learned the full process. Why? Because you gotta learn the process and this includes the process, okay? And this one does not include the process because you already have the process, <laughs> okay? So that's the difference here. If you, and there's a different price point for this because people have already invested. So I wanna give those who have already purchased with me a discount, got it? So that's for, and if, if you haven't learned the full process and you purchase on this one, I'll be like, no, refund. You got to do the other thing because you got to learn the process. Okay. So just be sure you click on the right one. If you haven't learned the full process, it's, I haven't learned the full process. If you already have purchased me or in my groups, you've learned things, then you'll go here. Okay. All right. You can check out a bunch of testimonials from a lot of our certification people. We have uh, about 20 to 30 people who have been certified. I only do the certification once or twice a year. This year, I'm only doing it one time. So this is the only certification I'm doing all year. And this is it. So with that, I decided to put a lot more into it this year than I ever have. And I'm going to over deliver and over give and just make sure that everyone who's a part of it can succeed at the highest level possible. So here's the details. Okay. The mission. This is important. If you don't have a mission, right? The mission is kind of like the purpose. The mission is to create a team of transformational leaders who know and teach the fastest, easiest, and most effective process to help people create permanent change in their lives, thereby creating a lasting change in our communities and on the planet. I believe we need more people out there teaching, empowering others, helping parents, helping singles, helping kids to learn how to change themselves. I see people struggle and I know they can change. And that is my goal to empower you to do the same. Here's our manifesto. This is the Unstoppable Preneur Manifesto, which being a part of this, this is going to be our mantra. You're going to memorize this. We're going to live by this. You're going to align to this. We are going to embrace this to the fullest. So if everybody wants to say it with me, this will be fun. On three, uh, let me, let me, can you guys read this? Can you guys see it okay? Maybe? All right. Well, I'll, I'll hope you can see it. All right. We're going to do it. Okay. This is important. And what you say can have a lot of meaning to it. There we go. 
All right, on three, we're going to say this together because no matter if you join me or not, it's still an important manifesto that you can live by. Ready? One, two, three. When I set goals, I nail them in days and weeks instead of months or years. I live with no regrets as every decision I make turns to gold. I don't wait to find passion. Yeah, right? We talked about that. I don't wait to find a passion. I live my life passionately. I lead by example and confront everything I fear or avoid. I'm done with shame, blame, and guilt. You can just imagine there's commas there. Remember, it's called creative, uh, creative grammar. And take full responsibility for my results. I am empowered with a D, empowered to do whatever it takes while keeping that which is most sacred to me. I am a warrior and I fight for my cause. I am unstoppable. Cool, yeah? Turn to so I give him a high five and say, I'm unstoppable. Love it. <laughs> Thanks for playing with me. This is super fun. You guys are awesome. All right. Very, very cool. So that is the thing that we are going to be embracing. Now, perspective. You're going to be certified to have basically limitless income, an impact opportunity, a world-class support team, and an unprecedented chance to change the world teaching online and in person. Okay. So I'm going to teach you how to teach online. I'm going to teach you how to teach in person. So here's some benefits and some class details. And then I'm actually going to go into the whole weeks of everything that we learn. So the benefits, you can teach and hold live workshops and teach the full process to people. You get to keep a hundred percent of everything you sell. So you don't send me any money. Everything you sell is yours to keep. If you want to lead people to our own courses or uh, future stuff, we give you a big commission because you're out there teaching. And if you're like, hey, I don't want to really teach, but you sell it, I'm okay with that and I'll just pay it. So either way, but I want you to teach and I want you to learn and I want you to get the skills because I think the skills are important. You also get to market, uh, learn our marketing skills and have our marketing materials. You'll be... Uh, having proof of certification and, and, and badges, you'll, you'll be eligible for referrals. You're, you're gonna gain knowledge, filling life events, live events, workshops, online classes. And this is super important for anything you do. So today we're in a world of not just information, but transformation. So not only do I wanna teach you how to give information to people, but more importantly, how to transform them through information information applied is transformation. Okay. So when we apply information in a powerful way, we transform and that's part of the goal. So the cer certification course, it's going to begin April 27th. It's virtual and it's going to be for 12 weeks. There's uh, times are going to be adjusted based on the people there. We're only looking to have 15 to 20 people. That's we, we cap it at 20 max and we'll alternate. We'll probably do it Tuesdays and then Thursdays, one Tuesday, one Thursday, one Tuesday, one Thursday. Okay. We're also going to do a live event. You can fly in for, or you can just watch it recorded. The live event will be three days where we're going to practice everything we did for 12 weeks. Okay and experience the transformation in a huge way. Cool? So here's some of what we're gonna go over. Week one, this is huge. This is so important. Anything you're gonna do in your life, whether it's teaching the abundance alignment technique, whether it's teaching your own unique process or your own gifts, you must learn to create a movement. What's the word? Movement. Because if you're just teaching information, people are tired of information. You can Google it. You can Google information. But what people need is movement, transformation through, through moving and action, okay? So in the first week, the goal is to get the vision. Find where you're going so that you can choose to live passionately, daily, consistently for a purpose. Now, here's the crazy cool thing. 
I've taught the technique just itself for $500 all the way up to $3,500 and more. You learning this, you'll be able to sell it for that price point. So let's say you're starting off, maybe you're not good at selling, but you just want to kind of test it out. So you could sell it for $500 to teach the full process. Let's say you get 10 people in, okay? You do some marketing, you talk to people, you get them in, involved. You get 10 people in for $500 to teach one day. How much did you just make? Five grand. Five grand and you teach a day. Not bad, huh? So I had one of my certification students, they got six people in and they just charged like $300. And they made $1,800 in a day. Not bad for a day's work, right? So how many would love to make $1,800 in a day or $5,000 in a day or more? By show of hand, yeah? It's cool. To give you some perspective, I've sold where we sold over 30 at $500 in a day. So how much is that for a day's work? $15,000 right? I've also sold things where we've made over $225,000 in a day. So it's limitless what you can do with this. The goal though, is so that you are in confidence in helping people take action and move. Cool. So the first week is vision movement. Second week, mastering the whole technique. Some of you haven't done the technique. Some of you have, regardless of if you've gone through the technique or not, we're still going to master it. And I'm going to teach things that I haven't taught. So super speed aligning, shortcuts, variations. You're going to learn how to master different breath patterns, why to do different breath patterns. So we're going to do a lot more that's not in the course itself. And this is all about really getting down, mastering the definitions, the words that we use. So this is to help you master it yourself. Okay. That's week two. Week three, how to facilitate a session. So facilitating it, there can be, it can be kind of tough. People have emotions. How do you hold the space? How do you deal with the doubters that are like, this doesn't work? Like, ah, what if it doesn't work the first time? How do you handle that? How do you get people to continue to change regardless of their situations or circumstances? So we're going to teach remote work, online sessions, and in-person, and how to do all those week three. Week four, practicing and refining on different platforms. This is where you're going to start to learn how to uh, doing the sessions on yourself and holding online and uh, being able to, to focus on that. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. So live coaching, troubleshooting, this is kind of like an overview of the first couple of weeks. And then we get into the next phase, which is building your package. So every single one of you are going to have something different that you're passionate about that you live passionately with, right? It's not a destination, it's a what? Decision. So that decision, as you decide to live passionately, we're gonna help you create your own package that you can sell to your ideal clients, tailoring your unique journey so that it's, it matters to you and that you stand out amongst all the other people. This is where we build out your program for you and help you map it out so you can sell next things after they come to you and you teach them and there's something else for them to do. Okay. This is where you could sell an upsell for anywhere from a thousand to $10,000. And that way, let's say you have 10 people come in for 500 bucks. You make five grand there, change in lives, teaching, and then you do an offer to your $2,000 mentoring, which will help you build. And you get two clients. So one day's worth of work, you just made 4,000 plus 5,000, almost 10,000 bucks. And you can do that how many times? As many as you want. Does it take energy and effort? Yes. Are you going to have to change some of how you think? Yes. Are you going to maybe need to align some things? Yes. You know, I had to align because I was, I was so addicted to the poverty. I was working on people and being like, $15 a session. And then for me to do something like this, I was like, ah, that's half my annual income or twice my annual income. So it was, 
I had to evolve into this. I had to become this person capable of it. Okay, so that's week five. Week six, finding the ideal clients. This is super important. I don't know how many of you work with people, but have you ever worked with somebody that you didn't really like working with? And you're like, e maybe I shouldn't work with that person. <laughs> this teaches you how to be in that state where when you're living passionately, you start to attract higher quality people. And how you communicate, being the walking billboard, that's going to dictate the type of people you work with. So instead of just charging 500 bucks, you could do $1,000 or $2,000 and actually get to where that money they pay you, they love it and they're super grateful because they're gonna spend it somewhere else, but they wanna spend it with you because you're the one meant to transform their life. And that becomes a, such a joy. So week seven, holding, uh, now how many would love to do that? How many would just love to get their ideal clients, make over five to $10,000 teaching and feel empowered doing so? Yeah, cool. I know it's fun for me, I love it. Are there things that come up that you have to work through? Yes, and that's part of the fun. It's a journey, not a destination, right? So even this, it's a journey, not a destination. Okay. This is going to be something that I want to really focus on. Online workshops. We're going to an online world, especially with COVID and all that. So I have just this year alone, I've spent almost $30,000 just the past couple months in learning the best way to deliver webinars, the best way to create messaging, marketing. And I want to give that to you guys as part of this. So you don't have to spend the hundreds of thousands of dollars that I have. You can just go on the journey and experience all the knowledge and all the wisdom that I've learned through all the ups and downs. Cause I've failed a lot. I've practiced a lot, tested a lot, seen what does not work. And I've seen what does work. So I want to teach you how to charge what you charge, how not to be boring, how to do actually like ch state changes and have engagement. Like how many of you have had fun right now? Anybody having some fun? Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully some of you might be like thinking, how much is it? Ah! That's okay. You can still have fun. And it's fun to change. It's fun to grow. It's fun to learn. It's fun to experience things. So I want transformation to be fun. And you are going to become a fun presenter. Whatever fun represents to you. If fun is super detailed and super structured, then fun it shall be. If fun's more like engaging and awesome, then I'm going to show you how to do that. It's all based on your personality. So I'm going to teach you how to teach according to that. Week eight, how to refine your message and market. Now we get into marketing. So now we're going to be able to, how to actually get registrations for your event. So selling registrations, promoting, and preparing people to come to your event, whether it's virtual or in person. Week nine, oh, uh, and week nine, I think actually, let's see, is it week eight or so? I think week nine or 10. Oh, week. Okay. Yeah. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting excited. Week nine is preparing for your live events. So this one, we're going to do lots of sessions. We're going to uh, present and practice with the group. We're also going to design your whole event and structure your next level stuff. And week 10, you're going to hold your first event. So by week 10, you're going to teach it, okay? My goal is not, okay, you're done, good luck. It's no, in the course, you are going to actually enroll people, make money while in the certification. So that's my goal, that you make money. I would love for you to make back your investment within the first 12 weeks. That would be awesome. And I am looking to see that happen. So hold your first event and get tons of feedback. Uh, that's all that, like everything to prep for it. Week 11, this is gonna be more of when, once you do your first event, now we're gonna focus on creating your mini webinar. So the mini webinar is gonna be a 15 to 30 or 45 minute presentation that you can do and automate. And I'm gonna give you my funnels, online funnels that you can use that are actually working today that literally generate us over 15 to $20,000 every week. And I'm going to give you access to those funnels. You're going to get copies of them. You're going to see how I phrase it. You're going to get all the flows so that if you want to automate it, you can. And that way, it's going to be 
ah, yeah, you don't have to test everything that I did. Like I know exactly how it works. So I'll give you access to that. You get it. And I'm going to help you build your own so that you do it. And I'm going to critique it for you. That alone, doing a mini webinar and critiquing it, I would charge over five to six grand for just that by itself, because it's going to create you a lot of income. And every person that can go through that webinar turns into a potential life that you can change and impact. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Super good. Yeah. Okay. Week 12 is graduation party. We're like, yes, we've put in a lot of work. This was excellent. You've made money. You've impacted people. You've taught, you've created your mini webinar. You've gotten a structure. You know how to market. You know how to upsell. You know how to present. Everything that I have done over the past six, seven years, my goal is to deliver and help you do it in 12 weeks or less. We may make this a 14 week thing just because there's a lot of pieces and I wanna have time to critique it. So I am open to just taking as long as it takes to help you master it. And I wanna do that because this is the only certification I'm doing this year. I'm willing to put in that extra time and make sure you guys succeed, all right? So with that, now the big question, investment, how much is it, Tyler? All right, well, here's, here's what it is. So enrollment for this year is limited to 15 to 20 people. The value on this is well over $36,000. And here's why. If you know how to present, if you know how to speak, if you know how to do webinars, if you know how to sell, everything that I've had to pay tens of thousands of dollars for each and actually applied it, it would be well over $100,000, like everything you're gonna get. I've had to pay a coach 35 grand just to learn how to speak. I've had to pay a coach another 30 grand just to learn how to get webinars going. I've had to pay another. So a lot of things that I've done, you don't have to do. You get it all here. Okay. Is that cool or cool? Is that awesome? Yeah. Unless you want to do that. It's, it's fun. You learn a lot and it takes years, but I'd rather just get it all done and like, let's get results now. Right. So I'm all about faster, easier, and simpler. So here is how it is. For those who have already bought the past, there's a discount. So if you have already purchased the abundance alignment technique and you know the full technique, if you've done one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, if you're in the group, the abundance alignment system, then you're going to click here. If you haven't learned the full process yet and you want to get certified, you'll click here. So if you haven't learned, this is what it goes to. The value on it's here. Here's the price. To pay in full, you could do it for 6,500 or you can break it up into three payments of 2,266 or you can do it into seven payments of a thousand. Okay. So it's simple enough that you don't have to spend tens of thousands of dollars. It is an investment. It is going to rock your world. My goal is that you can make this back within the first three or four months. That's the goal. I want you to be able to go sell and enroll clients consistently. So what does that look like? Well, it looks like you showing up, you asking questions, you learning the full process, you learning how to teach, learning how to enroll people into your online or live workshop, learning how to take their money for the exchange that you're giving and selling 500 to a thousand dollars each so that you could make five to six grand at your first event. Then as you get better, trying and doing it over and over and over, you could do this. I suggest doing an event like every other month that gives you time to market it and get better at it. And that way you can really focus on it. If you just wanna do it one time in a year, that's cool too. You could just do a really big one in a year and focus a lot and just do one, right? And get 20 to 30 people signed up. So it really just depends on how it is. And that's the first week is mapping out what kind of style you want to do and how fast you want to move. So that's this. If you've already worked with us, there's a significant discount. So you can check that out. If you're already bought the program, then uh, it's like $1,500 different. Okay. I think. So it's like five grand and uh, then three payments and seven payments. Okay. So it's, it's, that way it saves you a little bit of money if you've already learned the full process because you've already invested at least that or more with us, 
So I just wanted to have that be part of it. Now, here's what you're going to get. You're going to get the whole certification. I wanted to bonus you guys something. Is it okay if I just give you more stuff and help you transform faster? Is that cool? You guys game with that? All right. So here's a couple things. I wanted to make sure each and every one of you succeed. For those of you who would like to sign up, here's the deal. I want to do a one-on-one -on -one alignment with you. I usually only do this to people who purchase my $15,000 product or more. I want to do a one-on-one -on -one session with you. So you're going to get that. I charge $1,000 per alignment. You're going to get that for signing up. Okay? So that's going to be part of it. We're going to do that within the next week or two, your alignment. So that'll be quick. Now, another thing I wanted to bonus, which is super cool, people have wanted to learn how to transform people's lives one-on-one. -on -one. Is anybody interested in that? Like learning how to facilitate a transformation through mentoring, like talking to a human being and helping them make shifts? Cool. Awesome. So I'm going to do a course after this. It'll be several weeks after, maybe even a month. And it's called Mentor Maker Course. This is going to teach you how to be a mentor, how to sell your mentor program, and how to facilitate transformation through a one on one consultation. So ah, I've been wanting to teach this for a long time and teach all my techniques and all my methods. And uh, this is going to be it. It's over $2,500 of value. I'm going to gift this to you for free for signing up for the certification. Okay. After the certification's over, I'm actually going to sell this to people for anywhere from $1,500 to $3,000. So it'll be for sale after, but I wanted to give it to you for free because I, I just feel that if you can master online stage and one-on-one, -on -one, you will be unstoppable. You'll be able to truly step into your power, live on purpose and help people transform their life. Is that cool? How many would love that to just be able to do it on any platform, like online, you could do it live, you could do it one-on-one, -on -one, you could do it in a group. Anybody love that uh, ability? Yeah. So whatever it is that you want to do, that is the other bonus. Now we start in a month. Okay. So the end of April. So you might wonder, Tyler, why would I sign up now? Well, here's the thing. I'm going to be promoting this the next four weeks. Every week, so next Thursday, price goes up $100. The Thursday after that goes up another $100. Thursday after that, another $100. Thursday after that, another $100. So today, by signing up today, before next Thursday, you'll save $500 by doing this, okay? If you want to sign up now. If you need a consultation and you're a little unsure, or maybe you need to just fit it to your own, you like, hey, Tyler, just help me map this out a little bit more then you can book a consultation. And by going in here, uh, there's a place when you click on it, if you go to exit, it'll pop up a little, hey, book a free consultation. So if you would like a consultation to explore this, then you can. Um, we're, I'm, I'm here to really find the people who are ready, who are ready to make a difference on the planet. I know there's a lot of people out there who need to hear this. They need to change. They, they're looking for something. They've tried so many things, but they're still feeling stuck. This is going to be that opportunity for you if you are looking for a next career. Maybe you're just looking to tune in your own skills. Maybe you're like, hey, I just need something else to bring in an income. Maybe you're just like, I've already got my own thing, Tyler, but I really want these skills. Cool. I don't care if you teach the technique or not. If you just want to go through and get all my skills through this and apply it to your own stuff, awesome. You'll, you know, I have to, I pay $3,000 a month to coaches uh, for 12 months. I pay 30 grand, 60 grand, all sorts of skills to learn. And, but I wanted to do this at an easy, affordable way that's still an investment, but is going to get you the result that pays 10 times over. Cool. So that's my, that's my uh, offer today. And I'm going to get you the link right now in the Zoom and I'll also send this out in email and I'll post it in my Facebook group. Okay. But any questions about this?
Now's a good time to ask questions. So there's the link. I just emailed, or I just uh, put the link in the chat. No questions. This is amazing. Now I'm just going to go look at my credit cards to purchase. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Any other questions you guys have? I just want to really take the time, answer any questions, whether it's regarding this offer or about purpose. So those uh, Tuesday, Thursday classes, are they going to be recorded and sent yeah. if we miss it? Yeah. So you don't have to make them live. Uh, I, I get everybody's schedules different. We can't hit everyone's schedule, but when people join, we're going to talk about like the best types of uh, schedules for people. My guess is it's going to be Tuesday, Thursday. We might do Monday, Friday or Monday, Thursday. It just depends on kind of the group. And I'm open to doing morning and afternoon or morning and night alternating. It depends because some people work, some people don't, some people are out of the country, some people are in the country. I want to get to where some people can at least hit up live. Some people can hit up recording. Okay. So you're going to be like homework so that we can understand and apply it. Yes. Like, yeah. Is there going to be homework? Absolutely. This? Yeah. So there's okay. assignments. So after each week, you have to do the assignments and turn them in. I'm going to check them. I'm going to give you feedback on them, especially on your like skills. So I'm going to critique you on your presenting skills, on how you're enrolling people. This is where you're going to get a lot of uh, stuff that I'm trying to put the link in. Does everybody see the link? So I just reposted the link. You should see the link. Okay, good. So the link's in there. Uh, yeah, you're going to get a lot of help. And my goal is if I need to go three times a week, then I'll do that. Like if you're still struggling and you guys need more help, I am, this is my only certification I'm doing this year and I want it to be the best. So I want this for you guys to just crush it out. I want to see you guys succeed. I want to get, see you guys make six figures. If you're looking for that, I want to see you do five figures. If you're looking for that just depends on what you're looking for. And I want to be there to give you all my time and energy. So because it is so individualized, we're only taking on up to 20 people. Cause after that, I don't think I could uh, do enough. Like I want to give you guys enough presence in the course to make sure I go through your assignments and can critique it and really just make sure that you're getting it that way, hand holding the whole way. Okay. I know in some of the past things I've done, I haven't done that as well, but this year I have just focused on that. And I know that the more time I can deliver and really give you guys the, the effort, the energy you need, the easier it will be for you to succeed. Okay. So who is this not for? It's not for you if you're just going to dabble. If you're just looking for, um, maybe you'll dip your toe in and see if it works. That's not this. Okay. Because once you sign up, it's a, it's a commitment. Like you're committed to become an unstoppable preneur. You are going to be a certified instructor to teach one of the most powerful processes on the planet to other people. So it's, you're taking on a new identity by doing this. And we're going to go on the journey together. I'll be there right with you. You'll have a great group and it'll be phenomenal. So you'll get coaching, you'll get live training, you'll get critiqued, you'll get everything. I literally used to charge 35 grand to take people through most of what is in here. And I'm condensing it and opening up for a lot of people. So, uh, well, 20 at the max. So I want to do that because I know that people are ready. People are hungry for it and people need this transformation. And I can't teach everyone. I just can't. There's too many people out there. I need the help. And I believe that if you have a good heart and you're really looking for something to do to, to make the rest of your life exciting, then, then this hopefully will resonate. And if it does, cool. I'd love to be that coach for you. Okay. I have one more question. Um, Cause I feel like this is like a healing technique and I have three daughters and I know that it, 
they're on that track as well. Mm -hmm. um, so would we be able to teach our children this, like, and then they could, would they be able to use it for their friends or how does, how does yeah. the advocacy work with as far as spreading it? Like, yeah, I'm all about it. Um, how I have it set up is once you learn it, you can teach it to whoever you want. Now, if someone else wants to teach it to someone, they can do that, but they just don't get paid for it. So if they wanna get paid for it, they need to get certified because I want it clean. I want it in its full power. I teach my daughter to go teach her friends. So she literally is like <laughs> teaching her friends. If they got emotional stuff, she's five years old. And she's like, oh yeah, my friend had this thing. And I was like, did you teach her how to align? And she's like, oh, I need to. So she's like, I'm, I'm in, I want them to know they can teach. They, they need to, because we need more people to transform other people's lives. And we need it at a small age, at a young age. Okay. So yeah, uh, super cool. So yes, that's, that's what we have. And, uh, Sean just said, uh, just signed up. Congratulations, super awesome. Yeah, well, welcome aboard. And I just ask that if you commit to do the payment plans to stay on it, because we're delivering a lot of things, okay? You'll be certified before your payment plan's up. So if you're in integrity with that, please just honor that, okay? Because I'm giving you so much stuff and I'm giving you my time and my energy and I just ask that you'll keep your word and be honorable about that. The, the goal will be that you make it back, of course, but I just want you to be in a place where you're willing to just keep your word because I'm not going to chase after people. That's not my thing. But uh, if you're going to teach people to empower people, you got to be in integrity and, and do it yourself. Okay. So lead by example. Uh, Doreen says, what's the duration of each session? Yeah, we'll probably go six or seven hours each session. No, just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. No, we'll, we'll do, it'll be like anywhere from 90 minutes to two to three hours, depending on how much we break it into. So um, if we do it twice a week, if we do it the one time a week, I'm going to take a poll and see how people are. Uh, if we do it just once a week, it'll probably be about three hour chunks. Okay. If we do it twice a week, maybe an hour and a half to two hour chunks. If we do it three times a week, which I've done for people in the past when they're like, getting too slow or they're not getting enough help, then we do it like an hour each time or something. So I'm really flexible. And my goal is just to tailor it to you guys. Okay. So it really just depends on the group, how much you need, and I'll teach extra stuff. So what you're going to get, it's all going to be recorded. You'll have access to it forever. So even if you can't make it, you still get it. Okay. East Coast, it's all at 7 p.m. Yeah, so it's, uh, yeah, so it, it, it'll it be East Coast. Uh, so it might be eight or nine your time is when we'll do it because we might do it at six or seven, just depending on the group. So if we do a private consultation, will it be you counseling us or someone else? Yeah, your bonus session is with me personally. So by- No, I'm, no I mean like in the beginning, like let's just say I- you know, go, I have a conversation with my family because of the dollar amount. Yeah. Um, and we come to the decision that this is something we want to, you know, dive into. Well, and we need to do a session, just a confrontation, like a, just a communication. Oh, like video. hopping on a consultation? Yes. Um, it'll be with either me or it'll be with uh, Deborah. It'll be one of us. So Deborah, she's on my team depending on how, what time slot you pick and my availability. Um, it'll be with me or Deborah. If you need a specific question with me, I'm totally fine answering that. Okay. Uh, if I have the time, it just, my time is getting really filled. So I can't take everybody's consultation. Yeah. Okay. But if you do have something specific or need questions, I'm like, Hey, let's hop on. Cause you're going to go with me for like 12 weeks. <laughs> so we're going to get, we're going to get used to each other and that we're going to learn each other's stories and, and what your goals are and, and everything. Okay. Yeah. So you can sign up. And then uh, if you have questions after the consultation, if it is with Deborah and you still have stuff and you're like, Tyler, I still need a consult. Cool. Let's just do it and talk. 
but Deborah's awesome. She's, she'll know all these details. She can help people super as good as me. So she's really great. Okay. So that's it. Uh, I'm excited for it. I'm excited for you upon signing up, just wait like 24 hours. I'll reach out. We'll set up your one-on-one -on -one with me and it'll be within the next two weeks or so. And then um, we're officially starting in about four weeks. So in that time, if, if you've not learned the full process, I'll give you access to the course to learn the process and go through some of the stuff. If you would like to get access to the older certification in the meantime, if you want to go through stuff, I'll give you access to that if you want it. And you could literally go through a lot. Almost the whole course is like all previous stuff in the next four weeks before we start. If you wanted to do that, just let me know. And I'll give you access to it. And it's, it's the previous certification. It's all recorded and pre-done. I didn't just want to give you that though, because I wanted it new, fresh, live, and uh, help handhold. So um, in like in the future, this is not going to be me live, but I, I wanted to do this group since it's my only group this year. Cool. All right. So yeah, uh, just send out an email. If you do sign up, just let me know and then we'll give you access directly. Okay. To the support, support at abundancemasters.com. Okay. Any other questions? What are your questions? And here's how I look at things. If you're like, unsure, always focus on the vision of what you want. So for me, when I've signed up for big things and I didn't have the money for it, but I just borrowed it and credit carded it or whatever, I had to focus on, am I really going to make a difference? For me, I knew I would. I didn't know how. <laughs> I didn't have all the tools you're going to get, but I knew that somewhere inside of me, I had something that needed unlocked. And I knew what I was doing was not working. And so I knew I could continue to struggle, continue to keep doing the same thing and a year or two be in the same position, or I could do something drastic that would change my life. For me back in the day, my first thing I signed up for was like 5,500 bucks. That I borrowed a credit card from my brother-in-law <laughs> and uh, bought a program that taught me how to speak, but I didn't make money off of it because he didn't teach me how to sell. So then I bought another program with another month with, it was $2,400 that taught me how to sell, but I still lacked the ability to get the momentum. So then I bought another program for $3,500. There's $3,000 a month. And that was the year that I made over six figures and bought my wife, her grand piano. It was one year after our marriage. So when you live with purpose and live purposefully and truly choose in, regardless of what you're going through, you're able to see the shifts, be the shifts, do the shifts and embrace your story. Going into this, you're creating your own story. You can create the story. Oh, this is gonna be so hard. I'm not gonna make it, save me. Or you could create the story dude, I'm going to create whatever it is that I need to create and come up with it, do it. And then I'm going to learn, I'm going to master this. And my first event, I'm going to make $6,000 and it's going to be the most incredible thing I ever do. You create your reality. You create your story. And guess what? You're going to have the tools of alignment. You're going to have the tools of the coaching. You're going to have the tools of marketing. You're going to have the best of all the different worlds. And if you get stuck, I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you. So you're not doing it alone. Okay. This isn't for everybody, but if it does resonate and it is something you want to do, I encourage you. Pray about it, think about it, meditate on it, and then decide. Decide and say, cool, what is my decision? What am I going to choose to do? Am I going to choose to do something different? Choose to be someone more than what I feel right now? Choose to get into the vision of becoming an actual instructor to go teach the masses? Wow, what a cool identity. I know that is something that I am embracing daily and I will continue to do so. And I know many of you are on that thing and those who just signed up, congrats. Like congrats on going on this journey. Congrats on deciding. Congrats on doing what it takes because that's the kind of decision that helps other people do the same, okay? 
just keep that in mind. And if this isn't a fit, totally cool. I just want you to decide to live with purpose and passion regardless. Okay. I'm not tied to it. And you're not a bad person. If you choose not to do it, don't take on that story, right? Take on the story of cool. If this is the right thing and this is what I need to do, I'm going to do it. And it's going to be epic. If it's not, cause it's not a fit for everybody. Some people have other priorities. They're not focused on this. Then be okay with that. Okay. But again, this is the only time I'm doing it this year. And if you decide to do it next Thursday, it'll be a hundred dollars more Thursday after that hundred dollars more. You'll save money on this. If you decide to do it this week and each week after this, it'll just go up. And even if you buy it $500 from today more, it's still well worth it because the whole program in and of itself, I mean, what we're doing is incredible for, for the value. So that's what I have. Any other uh, thoughts or questions? I just want to thank you guys for being here. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for being passionate and choosing in. Uh, thanks for joining me today. And yeah, I just want to honor you guys for taking your time with me. It's been a lot of fun. Can I ask you a question? Because you offered. Um, yeah, I'm here to answer <laughs> questions. So go for so, it. So I'm kind of curious, like in regards to helping develop, bringing clients in, I, you know, I've had a little bit of, 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 understanding training with, with, you know, um, five-step sales process in yeah. NLP. Okay. And it, it's, so it's like, I'm hearing what you're saying and I, 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 I don't quite have the image of what it looks like in regards to what you're going to be training us and how to get people in. I mean, is it going to be like a social media thing? Good question. I mean, so the marketing piece. Okay. Marketing is going to happen a couple of ways. Your first couple courses, like your first course is literally going to be by you mastering your message. So getting your story down, getting your whole program down, the whole benefits, and then sharing the, basically the power networking process to get your low hanging fruit. I'm going to show you organic methods as well. So in this, uh, I've, some of them you might not like because you got to reach out and do, it's it's work to market. Uh, if if you're going to market organically, then I'm going to show you how to do that. Some of it will be doing live uh, webinars like what I'm doing. Some of it will be promoting on your Facebook group or getting into other Facebook groups and connecting there. Some of it will be personal messaging. So when you get into the marketing, we're going to need to shift some things because some of you have some really negative feelings about marketing negative emotions and thoughts, which keeps you from actually living your mission. So part of the alignment process is going to be working directly on the resistances as you go through the course. So if you're like, Tyler, I just don't re I really don't want to do this part. Like, sweet, that's an alignment. Let's do it. Cause that's, what's going to get you to the next level. So we're going to do it. And then you're going to go do it and you're going to succeed and you're going to create it. Okay. Or Tracy, Tracy's like this. Yeah. <laughs> you decide not to and you just fail. I do not like Facebook at all. That's one way. That's one way. It's one way. Yeah. That's one way. The other way is if you want to put paid traffic to things, uh, I'm going to do some training on Facebook ads and YouTube ads. Now do, is it going to be a super comprehensive, like, you're going to have a whole agency running it for you. Probably not that intensive because that's a lot of stuff. That's like a $30,000 course by itself. Mm -hmm. So I am going to teach you the basics to get you going, to get you your first couple sales. And then you can decide, okay, do I want to keep doing the organic traffic, which you can do LinkedIn. I can teach you how to do organic on LinkedIn. I can teach you how to do organic on Facebook. I can teach you how to do organic I don't do any other ways other than that. So <laughs> those are the kind of, or if you have an email list or um, like, I didn't have any of that and I did it all organic first. So you can do it. I was from green forest, Arkansas and had less than 50 people on my email list because I didn't have an email list. It was just my friends. It was my Gmail. So mm -hmm. I had to learn the hard way. Now, the hard way, does it take effort? Yes. Do you have to confront stuff? Yes. Do you have to get out of your shell? Do the uncomfortable. 
face rejection. Absolutely. Do you got to get out of the fear of stepping on people's toes or saying the wrong thing? Yes. Being a certified instructor, you are going to have to put yourself in front of people and instruct and lead and be the person who maybe you're not right now. So this is a new identity. Okay. And that's one way. So the organic, I've, I bought a course 5,500 bucks on organic traffic. I can teach you all the stuff in that. I just did a, I just hired another Facebook guy for 3000 a month to do paid traffic. I have 3000 a month I do on YouTube. So can I teach you those things? Yes. Yes. But do you need to put almost $10,000 a week or a month to get your first 10 K? No, you don't need to do that. You just need to embrace the identity first. If you don't have that identity, no matter what message you share, it's not going to work. It's not. So you could try any message out there, but if you don't take on that identity of who you are, who you're going to be, then when you share that message, they'll feel the fear. They'll feel the hesitation. They'll feel the lack of confidence and they won't join you. So the journey is become the walking billboard first. And as you are that walking billboard, going through, getting educated, aligning, working through the resistance, then do paid traffic. I, I took uh, four years before I got to paid traffic. Okay. And those four years, I was still making six figures or more. So it, you don't have to do paid traffic and work out all these things. I did a lot of interaction with people. I did a lot of networking. I did a lot of rejection and it was a little harder and I had to show up, but I needed to do that because I wasn't even capable of doing paid back then. Like if I hop, <laughs> I paid somebody one time to film my ad that I was going to do. It was like my first year. <laughs> it was horrible. I like got all this like professional stuff and I was like, um, my name's Tyler and, uh, and I, I had no idea what the heck I was saying. My message was so unclear and I spent almost four hours trying to film a 30 second ad. And then once it was done, they were like, that was hard. That was awful. And I was like, I know I just wasted a ton of money. This isn't going to convert. Like that sucked. And it didn't, it was horrible. It was like, Oh, I'm so horrible. At this. I was so bad. And so I realized I'm not there. I need to become better by being the walking billboard. So now I can throw up an ad and it'll convert immediately because I've been through to become the walking billboard. I've aligned, I've learned these skills and I've practiced and I've gone through the fire in order to help you not have to go through as much fire as I did. Okay. Thank you. Yep. And I'm going to focus a lot on marketing. I will. Like once you get the skill, the game's marketing. So it's, I want you to sell. I want you to. This isn't, hey, let's go do a bunch of free trainings. Eh, I'm not into that. Why? Because when you sell something, it shows that you have value and they have value and you value them. And I want that value to be exchanged. Okay. So we're going to teach you how to actually sell and we're going to work through all the resistance till you master it. Well, Tyler, I know back in October when I first met you on whatever advertisement it was, it was free. It was a save your itis one. And I, you hooked me on that. And it was your personality that just was so sincere and so genuine that I was just like, I was like in a spell. And then I think I did that one again. because I was like, why did I do that again? And then we talked at the beginning of the year. And um, now what you're talking about, your identity is like, that is so important because as you're doing the alignments, you're like guiding us. You're like the father of it. You know, and I guess for women to be the mother of it is just be like, other people are just so safe. They're just like, okay, we're, and it's so quick. It's not like you have to cry or shake or it's just a process. So thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. For being 
safe guy and helping us. It's fun. So, any so other uh, we have till next Thursday, right? Next, yeah, Wednesday. I mean, you have four weeks. Next Thursday, the price jumps up a hundred bucks. <laughs> Thursday after that, it jumps up another hundred. Thursday after that, another hundred. And Thursday after that, another hundred. So you have plenty of time to decide. But if you want to save a couple hundred bucks, then yeah, next Thursday is when you decide before. And I'll, prob awesome. and I'll probably tweak some of the offer to make it maybe they don't get a one-on-one -on -one session or stuff like that. So if you do want all the bonuses right now, they're solid on the bonuses. They, those could be changing. And if I add more bonuses, you still get those too. So uh, all, I'm just all about giving you everything plus more. So I wanna just make sure you guys have everything. Um, this is Pat. Do you have to teach this course if you go through this training or? Yeah, no. like what I'm teaching? Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. So this is to teach to teach. Mm -hmm. Teaching the technique. Okay. So, uh, a big part of it is you're just you're gonna learn how to teach the whole process. So but what what if um I mean would we still need to take the certification if we wanted to just help other people with the like working oh, with no. It? no 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 if you just want to learn the technique and do it on other people. We have a program, it's $3,500 for that to just learn the, the technique. Mm -hmm. And- But you, I've already paid that. Okay, so yeah, then you wouldn't, so you wouldn't need that anymore. You would do this other one, which is um, if you wanted to teach it, then you would click that other link mm -hmm. I already purchased. Mm -hmm. And this is it. So it's, um, ah. So it's here, it's 5,500 or three payments of 1,700 or seven payments of 785, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's if you've already bought the stuff, mm -hmm. then you can do it here. And this, what certifying does, gives you the ability to go teach other people the full technique. Okay. Paid for it. So mm -hmm. you could say, hey, Joe, you want to learn the abundance alignment technique? It's this technique that helps you get your goals in days instead of years. It's really amazing. And he's mm -hmm. like, dude, I would love to learn that. So then yeah. you say, cool, I teach the technique. And mm -hmm. you could charge anywhere from 500 up to 3,500 to do it. And then he pays you and you teach him. Okay. And I'm going to teach you all of that, all the pieces from how to find the clients, how to enroll the clients, how to teach them, how to present to them, how to deliver to them, how to then lead them to the next level if they're, they want to do more with you and all that. And then how to have an online presence as well through a webinar. So if you're like somebody that just kind of wants to know a little bit about it, mm -hmm. I'm going to teach you how to put together a 30 to 45 minute video training, teaching mm -hmm. the basics of it that mm -hmm. leads to your training that will teach them the full process. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And that then do you, do you um, already have the program built out for continuing support after the certification? Um, so yeah, continued support. After, I, like after the cert, you know, with certifications, you have continuing ed and so forth that yeah. you have to keep up. Um, how I do that is, I just give you guys super epic discounts on everything. So it's like, Hey, if you want to do coaching and get more of the coaching and more of the training, or if I launch another certification, then I'm okay. like, Hey, if you want to go through it again, it's a couple hundred bucks instead of having to pay thousands. That way it's a refresher mm -hmm. and you can just get the experience of it again. Okay. Yeah. All and right. if you need you. coaching or the group alignment still, then we have a whole contingency plan on that for certification people too. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. So uh, I I think I bought impact income, whatever. So which group do I belong to? I mean which one? Um yeah. So you would be in you've already learned the technique. Uh, so fifty five hundred? Yeah. Yep. Oh okay. Yeah. So you would save like a thousand bucks there. Oh okay. Okay. So oh. my concern is, you know, I don't speak English. I, and and well, this, for some hard. reason, oh shoot, I thought I updated that. 
I'm so good at updating stuff, but yeah, so that should be updated. Um, let's see, where is it? So yeah, so in here, and do, do, do. so that should be the link. I think I might've clicked the wrong link, but yeah, so this is what you get. The AAT certification, bonus one-on-one -on -one alignment and mentor maker. Okay. So Tyler, do you teach us how to teach them that it's not a quick fix, it's like a process for them to, with, when they want a result that it's gonna, it might take a while. Say that again. Cause you know, like what my, my goal I'm working on mm -hmm. and I haven't reached that yet. And I've been doing this for like two months. Mm -hmm. So but it's a major thing. So, um, but I believe it's going to happen and faith is part of it. But if people, you know what I mean? Like a, a, a satisfied customer versus somebody that's like not really getting the results that they want. Do you teach us how to deal with that kind of? Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's going to be pretty open. So if you have specific questions, like one of the weeks is on how to handle people who don't get results, how to help them get better results. If people aren't happy, because okay. you'll, you'll work with people. It's inevitable. You're going to work mm -hmm. with somebody and they're not going to be fully happy. It's inevitable. Mm -hmm. That was one of my hardest things as being a coach and speaker was I wanted to please everybody. I just was like my giving this and being from a small town in the South. And I'm just like the healer inside. I just want to give, 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 give. But sometimes we give so much. It's actually not beneficial. It hurts them. And at times we need to hold people accountable by holding ourselves accountable. So there's ways of handling situations and making sure it's really clean and making sure it's good, your business policies and setting that up. And if people aren't satisfied or happy, then you're not trying to create the happiness for them. You, you're going to deliver. I'm going to teach you how to deliver an amazing course and teach it. But if you have that fear that story inside, let's align that because we don't want to attract that type of client. You don't want to attract the type of person who's going to regret or going to be like, oh, Tracy, man, I took that course with her. It was horrible. Oh, don't ever go to Tracy, right? Will you have those? Maybe. I've had people who've hated my guts and I've tried to like change their life and help them and do stuff. I even had a person who went through some really trauma and she wanted her, all of her money back. And it'd been like a month. And our policy is like, we have, you have three days and then you don't do money back. I teach you to make it. And I even offered to pay her a thousand dollars per session. She did on herself up to the full thing. And she didn't do it. So I've tried a lot of things. And I've tried, but I make people earn it. Like if someone's super not happy, they're going to earn it. Like my brother, when he was in a super negative spot, he needed some money. And I said, cool, every book you read and give me a, 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 an analysis of how you're going to apply it. And I gave him 10 books. These are the top books. If you read, it'll change your life. I'm going to pay you hundred bucks per book. I'll give you up to $1,500. Guess how much money I've paid him? <laughs> zero. So, so I'm all about helping people help themselves. You can teach a person to fish or you can give them fish the rest of their life. Sort of and sometimes the fish that you give people, they want more and more and more, and there's never enough fish to give to satisfy their satiation. So you'll have those and they, it will, it will rock your ship. It will challenge your identity It'll change things inside of you. It'll make you look at your life and see like, what do I need to change inside of me? Which is part of the journey, you know, part of the process. So, so yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Tyler, I'm just checking uh, the price. What's the difference? You know, 5,500. Yeah, 16500 one's 5500 right but if you pay uh three times or seven times oh yeah so here that's cheaper get cheaper i saw that quiet oh. down eureka what the <laughs> heck that's wrong <laughs> so I, thought, hmm, I should pay just by uh like quick click times. that button <laughs> there eureka yeah that's wrong <laughs> forgive me if i said your name wrong yeah you i oh, mean yeah, shoot. That's, that's, correct. Totally wrong. <laughs> that's totally wrong uh <laughs> i gave it to my guy and he was supposed to put that in there that's totally yeah totally wrong price point there um i'll give you the accurate ones and then i'll change that okay so here it is i uh, was going whoa okay yes, let's see here you can pay less <laughs> over the mat yeah it's actually no and let's see the Three payments of seventeen seventy six. I think that's accurate. Yeah. So that. But then, but then that's uh, fifty three twenty eight. Yeah. Oh, seven. Oh yeah, that's wrong too. What's so that? because that's lower that's than really that's really lower than if you pay for it in full. Yeah, that's so, wrong. Well, earlier you said that the people that had already paid would pay five thousand dollars, so it'd be a fifteen hundred dollar discount. Yeah. Let me. I think so. he put in the wrong or wrong numbers. Give me a second. Thank you for finding that. Thank yeah, thank you. I should have said that. <laughs> yeah, I did. That was my thought on it too. I was so hold on a second. Let me look up my notes because that's where I had everything. <laughs> thank you for bringing that up. I'm like that is not. Yeah. <laughs> Can I have discount? <laughs> yeah. I'll pay way less over a shorter, a longer period of time. That sounds great. Heck yeah, let's do that. <laughs> It's yeah. too late. Your ticket's already been taken. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's funny. That's awesome. Okay. Here's the real prices. Okay. Here's the real prices. Why did that happen? I have no idea. Even you can be a trader and sell your courses, even if you mess it up. All right. So here's the real prices. The uh, If you have not paid, that's... 6,500 paid in full or seven months for a thousand or three payments of two, two, six, six. So that mm -hmm. should be already there. I believe that one's accurate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the only one that was not accurate was the already. Yeah. So that's accurate. Okay. So we're good there. The only one that's not accurate is if you've already purchased that one's all sorts of messed up. <laughs> so, so here's what it is. It's only 5,000 paid in full or three months of 1766. Okay. Or seven months Oh, no, that's wrong. Yeah, no, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so 5,000 paid in full, seven months of 785 or three months of 1766. Okay, so 5,000 just paid in full. Yeah, I think that's the mess up. So it should be 5,000 paid in full, which you save a little bit there or okay. three payments to 17. Yeah, so these are accurate. This is not the... Oh, okay, good to know. <laughs> so I will change that uh, right away. That And this is only pertaining if you've purchased the abundance alignment technique, right? So if you, you'll you save a little bit paying in full, uh, if you do the payment plan, it's a little bit more. But it's only 5,000 if you've already taken the courses on abundance alignment. Okay. Yeah, thanks for seeing that because I was like, <laughs> what is going on? Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'll get up, I'll get that updated. If you want to do the paid in full, if you've already done it, uh done with us, then just give me like 24 hours and I'll update that link. Or give me two hours and I'll update the link. So uh and then you can do it that way, and that way you can get access and be one of the ones locked in. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Thanks for seeing that. Thanks.
Anybody else have any questions? So like I said, I'm not the English speaker, native speaker. So I'm just a uh, hard to present <laughs> in English. It can be. I have someone who has been through my certification who wasn't their native speaker. Yeah. She speaks Spanish, but she presents in Spanish. So she learned how the functionality of it and then she was able to use it in her own dialect or own language. And the fear of it being, even speaking a different language, let's say you still wanna present in English, that is a belief. We understand you, you sound really great. And in <laughs> fact, when you speak, it's empowering because it shows that you're willing to conquer your fears. And that in and of itself is a great thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I would align. There'd be an alignment. You could just do, I can present and speak regardless of my language and people hear me, understand me and take action. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. Yeah. So we were good on all the, the price points other than the, the other one, the, the one, if you've already paid, it's five grand paid in full and the other payment plans are great. And if you haven't, it's 6,500 or three payments, the two, 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 six or seven payments of a thousand. Yeah. Cool. And then as part of this, if you haven't learned, you're going to get access to the whole abundance alignment course as well. So I'm gonna give you that because everybody else has it um, if you've already paid me the other thing. So I'm gonna give you access to the full course so you can go through beforehand and that'll be great. And then if you any of you want the previous uh, certification, I can give you access to that as well. And you can just dive in. There's like tons of hours of material in there. Okay. All right, well, thank you guys so much. Any last questions before wrapping up? Anything else? You feel good to go? Have all the information you need to succeed? Okay, so think on it. If you have questions, you can uh, reach out. Uh, you can sign up or book a consultation if you wanna talk through some stuff or like paint the vision more. If you're a little unsure, a consultation can always help if you have that uncertainty. So, all right, thanks so much guys. Thanks for being here. It's a joy seeing everyone. Thanks for participating and thanks for choosing in whatever you do. I'm just, in, I'm just glad to be here and serve you and help you guys on the way.